Now that you have your wheel done and your barrel done, let's move on to the trunnion bearing. Trunnion bearing has essentially a plate with two holes in it with a little curve in it too. So we're going to draw this by drawing the bottom of this circle and then we're going to copy it essentially to make the top of the circle. So we can see this part is one and a half inches long. So let's start by creating a new sketch, or starting a new part, creating a sketch on our front plane, and drawing a line that is just, what did I say, one and a half inches long. Now I have cutting out of the middle of it a circle that is 3 16 radius. So I'm going to make a circle, and it's from the exact center. And oh, sorry, and I'm going to draw it and then do a dimension on it of 3 divided by 16 times 2 to get the radius, or to get the diameter. And I don't want any of this inner area. We can see that it just follows along here. There's nothing in this inner area of the circle. So I'm going to trim it away. I'm going to draw a line there, get rid of that, and get rid of those lines too. Now, things can move by doing that. You can see they go up. So I just need to make this line horizontal to this line. To do that, I go to the end point of the line. And I probably got to do that for this circle as well. Yep. Now, the circle still allows me to move it back and forth. So I'm going to just do a dimension from the center to my origin of half the distance of this line, which is 0.75 inches. And we're fully constrained, so we're done on that part. Now, you can see this moves up 1 16th of an inch. So we have a tool here called Offset. And I can select a line, like this one, move it up, and type in 1 divided by 16. And that will give me a dimension uh, in between the two of 1 divided by 16. Now all I need to do is draw some lines connecting the top from the bottom. So I just drew a line here and a line here. And that part's done. So I can extrude it out. And we see that it is 3 eighths of an inch deep. So I'll just change my dimension to 3 divided by 8, or 0 0.375. And lastly, we have some circles. So I have two circles that are an eighth of an inch in diameter. They're a quarter inch in, and they're centered on it. So we can draw a new sketch on this surface. And if we're doing a hole, remember we use the point tool. So I'm going to just put two points there. And first thing I'm going to do is make them horizontal to each other so they stay on the same plane. And they're in the center of our depth, so I'm going to also make it horizontal to the center or the center of the depth dimension. I'm just going there. So now those will stay horizontal. I can't move them up and down. I can just move them back to and forth. So again, they're a quarter inch in from either side. So I'm just going to make a dimension quarter inch. on either side. Now those two points are there, so I'm going to go to the hold tool by clicking H on my keyboard. And again, the diameter was 1 8th of an inch, or 0.125. It automatically selects both points, so I can just click OK, and there they are. Now this is probably made out of cast iron as well. So I changed my material to cast iron, and our mass here is 0 0.01 pounds, nice and light. Let's save it, and we're done.